If you frequented the internet over the last 15 years, you may be familiar with this. Or this. Or you may be a little bit more familiar with this. This, and this too, and hell, even this, are all called vocal synths, or more commonly known as vocaloids. Vocaloid. Before I go any forward, I want to make things clear for those who aren't aware. Vocaloid is the program used to make these synthetic vocals. These programs utilize the voices of voice actors. These actors record samples for every phonetic sound in whatever language is being provided. The program then puts these phonetic samples to match whatever word you type into the recorded synth note. Vocal synths come in many different shapes. There's the original Vocaloid, which is a vocal synth program made by Yamaha. Utau, which is a shareware vocal synth created for those who can't shell out hundreds of dollars on a Vocaloid software. Then there's newer programs like Synth 5 made by Dream Tonics. This year, I discovered Vocaloid. Obviously, I don't mean discovered literally. I discovered Vocaloid like Columbus discovered the Americas. Mm, maybe, okay, not like that, but you get what I mean. I discovered Vocaloid in the sense that this year, I really got into it. The music, the merch, the games, and so much more. This year, I discovered an entire subgenre of music, and I found it incredibly liberating as an art form. I created my own music using Miku. I found content creators through Vocaloid like Hazel, whose channel rocks, and you should go check it out. I'll put that in the description. My entire 20s so far has been defined by realizing I like music I either thought I hated or never looked into. Smashing Pumpkins, Radiohead, Linkin Park. I've been using the internet for over 10 years. Of course, I knew what Vocaloid was, but I never knew how cool, how stylish, and how insanely creative and dedicated its artists and fans are. As does everyone, I love the music. There's so many different genres of Vocaloid music because a vocal synth can appear on any kind of track. There's amazing rock artists like Deco Nino, Supercell, Wawaka. There's electronic pop like Lamaz P and Mitchy M, Crusher P. There's even metal like Utsu P and my personal favorite Okame P. There's dubstepy tracks, Mac rock tracks, Miku's been featured alongside chiptune band Anamana Gucci and rapper Ash Nico. There's an insane amount of diversity in Vocaloid music as its own art form. There are music videos for every mildly popular song, either accompanied by lyrics and or performances. If you go to YouTube right now and just type in Vocaloid, you'll get music videos with millions of views. Some just rip right out of various rhythm games. Yeah, Project Diva. The rhythm game franchise starting all the way back on the PSP, all the way to now the Switch. Just the games alone contain an immense amount of love for Vocaloid and everything about it. There's tons of merch like figurines. I have this unofficial manga made by the original designer and artist of Miku, K. Garu. I never really collected much before, but Miku figures are the gift that keep on giving. Since it's not like I'm buying figures of a finished series, there's always something new. 
Collecting Miku merch pushed me into collection in general. On a personal level, what Vocaloid means to me is limitless expression. Vocal synths are just an extension of the home tech boom of the 2000s. Things like GarageBand and iMovie that have made creating art unbelievably cost effective. Vocaloid is confidence in being able to mold the voice however you want, not fearing that you're not good enough to make music. I think that's an incredibly important option in a world where not everyone has thousands of dollars for music equipment. Not to shill or anything, but right now, if you go buy any of Krypton's voice banks, you'll get the Pia Pro Studio plugin as well as a free digital audio workstation being Studio One. For a little over $100, you can use the most popular virtual idol in the world and get a pretty good audio recording program free of charge. That rocks, and anybody who's ever wanted to try making Vocaloid covers or making their own Vocaloid music should go buy it and just try it out. Even if you're a fan and you just want to make memes with Hatsune Miku's voice, go buy it. And I know we can do that unless we are married. Please make you just grab my hand, I'm good. I got my start doing music production using GarageBand on an iPad. Easy access to musical equipment is really important to the future of art and it's incredible what some independent artists can do with vocal sends. People with no prior experience, all contributing to a shared passion. With the advent of avatar culture, the presence of Vocaloid is becoming more normalized. VTubers reign supreme on the internet right now, and even regular people are interested in virtual entertainers. Music competition shows like The Masked Singer and even its worst spin-off, Alter Ego, a show that is just so bad with its weird, uncanny 3D models. Even this is on TV, somehow. But regardless of all the bumps in the road, the ideas put forth by Vocaloid are finally coming to fruition. In the translator's introduction of Beautiful Fighting Girl by Saito Tamaki, J. Keith Vincent expresses what he believes the book attempts to do for otaku culture. I think what he and later Tamaki say is very important to understanding Vocaloid. Vincent says, Beautiful Fighting Girl intervenes in the highly polarized discourse to put the otaku back on the continuum with the rest of humanity. For Saito, the otaku have a great deal to teach us about how to survive and flourish in our media-saturated environment. They are distinguished not by their inability to distinguish reality from fiction, but by their ability to take pleasure in multiple levels of fictionality and to recognize that everyday reality itself is kind of fiction. Surviving and flourishing in our media-saturated environment. For the otaku, belief in fictionality gives them an edge in an increasingly technological society. Vocaloid is a part of that media saturation, and I believe being able to take enjoyment in its contents says a lot about how you will react to the technological advancements in the future. Vocaloid is fiction, especially when a song is literally about Miku herself. She's not real, but like she is because we give her life. In an essay published after Beautiful Fighting Girl, Saito writes, Otaku seek value in fictionality itself but they are also extremely sensitive to different levels of fictionality. From within our increasingly mediatized environment, it is already difficult to draw clear distinction between reality and fiction. It is no longer a matter deciding whether we are seeing one or the other, but of judging which level of fiction something represents. Vocaloid definitely fits into that realm of indistinguishable from reality. And as vocal synths get better, that distinction from fiction becomes more and more vague. But being able to take pleasure in the uncertainty of reality is a growing trend whether we like it or not. Just like everyone listening to this has likely told Siri or Alexa to tell them a joke, avatars are stepping into our reality and will likely accept them. All right, that's fun. Like being on Willie Nelson's bus.